네. On the way from Gillette, Wyoming. We are in the place. My name is Paula Mora. I am the communication director for the Kentucky Tennessee Conference, and this is Gillette, the Breakfast Club. Yes, my name is Pastor Roger Wade. I'm the communication director for the South Central Conference here at uh, Gillette. And you have a special role here at Gillette as well, right? Yeah, while we're here, they asked me to serve as the communications director, the on-site communications director for the Camporee. So you're busy, busy. Oh, man, it has been a tough first couple of days trying to make sure all the information is out, getting everything to uh, to the over, I think, what, 60,000 people that are going to That's be with crazy. us? That's crazy. Wow. And, well, we're thankful that, you know, you're here with us still because we know this show was very important. We wanted to you to be a part of it. Those who are at home, you know, we, we know you've supported our pathfinders. You've supported them through uh, donations, through prayers, just through many ways. And we wanted you to be a part of the day as well. Yes, yes, yes. So, listen, uh, there are over 11 7,000 Southern Union Pathfinders and staff that are here at the Believe the Promise Pathfinder Camporee. And we just want you to know that uh, we're excited that you're here. But those of you who could not be here, this show is for you. So if you're watching online, well, thank you. Let us know where you're watching from. Leave a comment, leave a like, just some questions that you may have, and we'll try to address them during the show. Yes, yes, yes. You want to make sure. And then you also need to share it. Share it with your friends, with family members, uh, family members who could not come, other pathfinders who could not be here. Make sure you share this link. Uh, if you want to hear it, southernunion.com front slash live, and you will be able to join us in the celebration of our over 11,000 pathfinders here at the Believe the Promise Camporee. Well, I'm very excited. How many companies have you been to, Roger? Wow. This is my eighth one. I wow. came with, I started when we we started in 1985. Oh, wow. Yeah. I wasn't born yet. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I gave away my age. <laughs> in 85, we had the first uh, North American Division International <laughs> Pathfinder Camporee uh, in Camp Hale in Colorado. Oh, wow. And it was, uh -huh. uh, I don't think they had anywhere near the number of uh, Pathfinders. So this is a record attendance. This is a record attendance. That's wow. correct. That's well, this correct. is my first Camporee, Ooh, and so I'm very excited. I've heard a lot about it. I've already seen some people I know and met a new people, and just it's great to be a part of it all. And, and the beauty about it is that uh, coming to this kind of event, mm -hmm. you are actually going to meet people who think like you, who th believe like you. And uh, it, it, it kind of cuts away all of the, what do I say? How do I say it? <laughs> uh, you know, it's wonderful. And then um, and the greatest thing is when you see them all uh, in uniform and we're mm. marching and we're sharing and we're laughing and, we you know, it's going to be a wonderful experience. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I've already had a great time and it's only been, what, two days, maybe <laughs> one day from set up well, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, actually, we start tonight. <laughs> tonight is the first night, uh, the first night at the nighttime stage where we'll see the play uh, about Moses' life. But but, you know, one of the greatest uh, 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 activities that they do at the camp mm -hmm. is uh, pin trading. I have heard about pin trade, and I heard it's a really famous, popular thing to do here. People go all the way to get the most important or like cool pins there are and i heard that the southern titans actually has one of the best pins this year come on now come on now <laughs> listen listen when they they kind of leaked a little bit of uh what it looked like uh what the mm -hmm. pin looked like and uh there were so many people saying hey we want that we want that we want that so you have a certain way to do that. matter of fact we have someone here who's going to help us talk okay. about the pin challenge all right yeah let's have her over we're gonna have christina norris she is the Associate Communication Director for the Southern Union. And so she's going to come here and just tell us a little about these pins. Because, again, we tell you, these are very special. They're really pretty. I know that in the union they did a great job designing them. Yes, so we're going to yes. have her come and join us on stage as well. All right, Christina, thank you so much for being here with us. I know we know it's early in the morning and it's cold out here, so we appreciate you for waking up to be in the show. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. So tell us a little bit about these pins. You know, we've hyped them up. Why are they so special? So this is actually only the second time the Southern Tidings has ever had pins at Camporee, but this time is extra special because we have a set. Mmm. Yes. A set. Mm-hmm. 
That sounds How many can you collect? So, within the Southern Union, we have eight states. And so each state has a pin, which means that in total, we have eight pins. Wow, wow. That's an eight-pin set. You know, wow. that, that, says, <laughs> that puts a lot of value on pins in, in the pin trading world. Excellent. So listen, um, who can collect these pins? So the pins can be collected by youth pathfinders. So that's defined as ages <laughs> 9 to 17 from within the Southern Union Territory. I think oh. growing up was a trap. <laughs> 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 okay. Maybe, maybe because we are hosts, Paola, we can probably maybe, get a special yeah, yeah, I think set. Yeah, we can get something. <laughs> Yeah, from the, what you're going to show us today. <laughs> yeah, talk, talk to me after the show. We'll work it out. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens when you get all eight pins? I, well, well, let me say this. Actually, do you get all eight pins at one time, or you have to get one at a, one, one at a time? Or what, 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 how, how do you, you get them? Yeah, how yeah. do you get them? So you can get pins by participating in pin challenges every single day. So Tuesday oh, wow. through Friday. And... Pathfinders from within the Southern Union can get two pins a day. Wow. Okay. So what are these challenges? The challenges vary day to day. And today's challenge is a video challenge and a photography challenge. Oh, okay. Okay. Awesome. So you mentioned uh, only the Southern Union can be a part because, you know, we are here with 60,000 people. <laughs> Yes. So, 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 so only the Southern Union can have it. That's right. And we limited it to the Southern Union because, as I think you mentioned earlier, we have 11,000 Pathfinders just from the Southern Union. So we wanted this to be something special that they could get. Well, Paola. So did you mention what happens when you get all eight of them? Sure. That's, that's really cool to have a, a full set. Yes. So if you collect all eight pins and get a full set, you will get a stand to put the pins on. And the pins look like little magazines. And the pin huh. stand, mm. it looks like a magazine stand. Nice, nice, nice. That's wow. amazing. Excellent. Yeah, so shout out to you guys for like designing that. I heard that they even opened the pins. That's right. So again, like a magazine, they open and Wait, there's wow. a little story with a little title inside. You've been holding out on us. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So what, what was the what was the inspiration behind this pin set, this type of pin set? So as we are a magazine, we really wanted to showcase that, kind of promote the Southern tidings. And each pin features a different state, as I mentioned. And inside, it actually has a different honor that Pathfinders will probably be earning or have earned. So okay. the one that you're holding from, what state is that? This is the Tennessee pin. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. all Our right. Can yes. take it Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, excellent. So, what about our viewers from back home? You know, they 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 wishing they were here. They they're excited about what what is going on here. But can they get in on the pin challenge? Well, we do have, and I think it's only open for a couple more hours. We do have a set that you can bid on on eBay. Ooh! So it's a full set that you can bid on on eBay. All right, now. All right, let's start the bidding. <laughs> yeah, let's start the bidding. Awesome. Anything else you'd like to share with us on, uh, is there hours in terms of uh, when they can come to do the pin challenge? Yeah, so Tuesday through Thursday, we'll be here from 9 to 1, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., or until the pins run out. We're distributing about 500 pins a day. And then on Friday, we'll be here from 1 to 4 p.m. Awesome, awesome, Amazing. excellent. Well, well, Christina. Thank you so much for your time. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for working on putting all this together. Thank you guys so much for having me. All right. You know, one of the amazing things about uh, Campuri, I think it's all the stories that you get to see and you get to hear around just the different uh, clubs and everything. And yesterday I was on the field and I found about a very special club in Georgia Cumberland and their very special oven. And so we're going to take that story and bring it. Uh, I want to report on it and we're going to show it to them now here on the screen. Miller started cooking for the McDonald Road Pathfinder Club in Tennessee when his daughter was little. 
he quickly realized that there was a very limited variety of food you could make with just a burner or a grill. So, he took it up on his hands to make an oven for the club. Fifteen years later, the club still uses three of his foldable ovens. Dusty had learning challenges growing up that kept him from finishing school, but that did not stop him from finding ways to serve others. There's other areas that the Lord has given me to, to be able to develop and go with that uh, um, he's blessed me be way beyond any other schooling ever could have done. Dusty not only designed the foldable oven, he also built it. He cuts, bends, and shapes the steel. It takes about 240 hours of physical labor to build one over. Throughout the years, he has made eight. The McDonald Road Pathfinder Club director said that they have used the oven to make cookies, bread, pizzas, muffins, and many other things that wouldn't be possible without a stove. Overall, they said it makes planning a lot easier and gives them a new venue for ministry. Dusty built these ovens for this club years ago before my husband and I were even a part of the club. So we've been blessed to come right into this from the start, but it allows us to make food that we couldn't make otherwise. And we see food as a ministry. The oven takes about five minutes to set up and five minutes to take down. This year, the McDonald Road Pathfinder Club is fitted more than 130 Pathfinders. Dusty says that though simple, this has been a great blessing. Um, and I've been a Pathfinder in one way or another for over 33 years, and I know and see the differences it has made. And the best investment we can do is, is other people, and especially young people, and get them to take and lead positions to fill as we, as we get to the point where we can't do it anymore. From Gillette, Wyoming, this is Paul Mora. One conference, and he was youth director in our neighboring conference, we actually, our territory overlapped. So oh, we had a wow. lot of collaboration together. And so I am just over, I was overjoyed when he was asked to serve the World Church as okay. the World Pathfinder Director. Oh, and big so name. <laughs> today, it gives me great pleasure to invite Dr. Andreas Peralta to the Breakfast Club. Right, all right. Man, we are just so glad to have Dr. Peralta here with us, the World Pathfinder Director. So, Doc, uh, share with us a little bit about um, Pathfinder Ministry around the world. <laughs> How you doing? doing? Hey, let me give you a big hug, man. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you. I how you doing? Hi. Okay, you doing great. <laughs> good to meet you. It, it's good to be here. Thank you, Roger. Um, Pastor Roger and I, we've been friend for a long time. I can tell, yeah. Um, I learned a <laughs> lot from him. We worked together in New York City, did some um, parade together, and, and, and it's a good time. It was a good time. So thank you so much. My pleasure. And, you know, we've been working in Pathfinder Ministry for six years at the General Conference, and, and I could say that Pathfinder Ministry is, is moving along, is growing. We have around 2 million Pathfinders around the world in 197 countries. And we have more than 65,000 clubs around the wow. world. Wow. So it's really growing. And we have clubs in China, in Iraq. Mm. We have clubs in Israel, in some, some unique places. So it has been a blessing to be sincere with you. So, so, Dr. Peralta, you know that um, the International Pathfinder Campery, originally when we started, it was mainly the North American Division kind of yeah. kind of set the tone for it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I've heard since 1985, mm -hmm. it's kind of caught like wildfire yes. around the world. Share with us how many of these camperies are there happening around the world? I think this camp, this campery has encouraged other divisions to do great things. Mm. Like right now, for example, in Brazil, they're doing like big campery like this, similar like, like this. So I think this campery set the tone for the whole world. Mm. And by the way, everybody comes here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like people come here, they check, they learn, and they go back to their countries yeah. and create similar things. Nice, <laughs> nice. Do you know how many international finders we have this year? 
Well, I think here we have more than 100 countries um, in wow. this country. Yes, yes. So that's, that's a lot. That's incredible, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as I'm driving through the campground, they are over there and they, they're, they're international just... International village. International <laughs> village, man. They just, they're having a good time over there, <laughs> boy. And then not only are they, not only are they in the village mm -hmm. where it's set up for them, they're actually, some of them are being hosted yes. in, mm -hmm. in some of the North American Division clubs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that has been a, a blessing for a lot of the clubs get to interact, intermingle uh, there. So um, share with us, Doc, um, you talk about around the world. Are there, what challenges do other pathfinders find in, in, in around the world? Um, I think we have similar situation like everywhere. Um, one of the challenges that I see around the world is that Pathfinder needs people to support them. Mm. You know, this is something that we have to always encourage everywhere. Like, you need to um, to encourage and to support the Pathfinder in your local church. And, and also, one of the things that I've seen is that Pathfinder ministry is trying to reach the community. That is something that I really um, see around the world. People are reaching the community. So the challenge is support our pathfinders in the local church so they can reach the community. Okay. And that is something that is, is, is seen. I've seen also, like, for example, I, I will not mention the country, but there are pathfinders on the ground. Mm. Wow. There are some countries that the church <laughs> is being persecuted, and pathfinder are on the ground. Wow. Uh, having, Literally. Yeah, having reunions and so forth. Like, for example, uh, there is a country that um, we have many Muslims in the club. Mm. And that's the only way to reach uh, the community in wow. some way is through Pathfinder. So, you know, that's mm -hmm. what we see. Wow, that's yeah, yeah. that's interesting. That's yeah, yeah. To know that Pathfinder in ministry is at the front, the, the tip of the spear yes. for evangelism around the yes. world. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. How do you see Pathfinder ministry make a difference in the life of children and of like the young adults and all the people who are involved? Well, um, I could say this. I was in a campery. Um, big stadium. I made an appeal. This young man came running. You can see that on YouTube. It has more than 3 million views. And he hugged me. He cried and he whispered me. He said, after this worship service, I was planning to commit suicide. Mm. I had the rope and I was going to hang myself on a tree by my club so people can see it. Wow. wow. And he said, and I, I remember the message was, don't give up. Mm. And, and he said, that message revived me. So, so this ministry has encouraged the young people to get closer to Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, to have an encounter with him, to renew their life. A lot of young people are lack of purpose, looking for an identity. So through the club, they find that, um, they, they find that spirit, you know, teamwork, working and developing their, their leadership and so forth. So Pathfinder Ministry is yeah. changing lives. Awesome. I can tell you many stories, but that's one <laughs> unique that I have in my mind. That's wonderful. That's <laughs> wonderful. So, Doc, we are here at the uh, Believe the Promise Pathfinder Campery yeah. for the North American Division. Um, what, are, what are some of the things the, the World Church Pathfinder Ministry uh, is going to be doing here? Well, we have a booth. <laughs> we have a booth also. Um, one of the things that we um, help the most is with the International Village. Mm -hmm. Because we, you know, we represent um, diversity. We represent the whole of the church. Um, the church. So we, we put our effort in the, in the village. Also, in the Master Guy Investiture. Okay. We're in charge of the Master Guy Investiture and also in the opening and ceremony and the closing ceremony. We all be there helping out. Doc, I heard there's a rumor uh -huh. that the, 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 the GC Youth, uh, GC is the Youth Department, but the yeah. Pathfinder Department at GC has a scavenger hunt going on. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Our <laughs> folks at home want to know, what about this scavenger hunt? What is that? What is that? What is that about? You got to stop by the booth <laughs> to find out. Yes, we have a scavenger hunt around the whole camp. 
And if you, you know, if you comply with the law, you will get some <laughs> pins that we made for you. And by the way, by the way, I will, I will send you some pins. Uh, and I will send you some pins so you can give away through the week. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Oh, look at that. All right. I will send you, right. you know, to your, your director and Pastor Arnaldo. I will give you, I will give you the pins uh, today. <laughs> you can start giving out some pins during the week. Awesome. So awesome. come here, hon. You have to go to our booth and start it there. And and yeah. Awesome, that awesome. So as we as we I, I thought you I thought I thought you were gonna talk about the other rumor. <laughs> oh well, 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 well. It's not a rumor, that's fact. We know that's fact. We're getting ready there. We're gonna we're gonna land the plane there. But uh but uh we want to well since you brought it up, uh <laughs> This campery seems to have been uh, uh, seems to fall on the fact that uh, after it, you are going to be changing your role. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you will no longer serve as the World Pathfinder Director. What, what's going on? <laughs> well, you know, I've been more than seven years working as a reserve chaplain in the Navy. Mm -hmm. So this time was the time that I needed to be mobilized. Every certain years, you have to be mobilized. So I was called to serve in the Middle East oh. for almost a year. So my family and I, we decided that it was best just to conclude by Jesus' session. Okay. But because we are leaving, because I'm leaving prior to the Middle East, I said, you know, I don't want to sound selfish and stay here holding my position for nine months and Come then on. a GC session go, you know? So we decided like, okay, if I'm gonna go into chaplains and ministry, let me just go from now. And that's that's what we decided for now. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna be sorry. We're sorry that you're leaving. Trust me, we're sorry that you're leaving. The energy that you bring to to Pathfinder Ministry around the world, I, you know, you're very good in social media, so we're able to, to join with you, and uh, you have made an impact around the world for Pathfinder Ministry. As as you begin to uh, go off into the sunset, <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a theme as we hear in the West. What would you like to say to Pathfinder World out there? Well, I would like to say like, never give up. Um, always stay connected with God, Christ, with God, with the church and the community. Um, you are value. You are important to our church. Yes, we need to improve. Yes, we need to find a way to do better. But this church loves you. And, and we're doing our best. We invest our time, energy, money so you can be closer to Jesus. Awesome, awesome. Man, you, you're still inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> still inspiring. I still remember the days in Greater New York. We oh, would yeah. connect. and we, uh, we had a great time. It was a good time. It was, it a, was great a great time. time. So, Doc, thank you so much. Thank you for uh, coming. No, 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 let me make it back. And he made the voice <laughs> for our general conference videos. Oh. And, and, and World Pop Fund did video. He was the voice. So I'm going to have to look up those videos oh, now. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. The voice. The voice. <laughs> we love the voice. It, is, it was my pleasure to serve with you and, 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 and connect with you. Thank so we, you, thank you, thank we thank you. God for you. Thank you. So uh, as we pull out here, we just want to let you know here in Southern Union and here at the Southern Titans. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you. So we're going to move to our shout outs. Yes. Yeah, so we have kids all the way who travel all the way, miles, travel days, and they're happy to be here. They're really excited, but they're still missing home. You know, you miss your parents, you miss your brother, you miss your sister, you miss your cat, you miss your dog. And they want to say hi to the people at home. So we're going to play their videos now. All righty. Hi, my name is Dusty Larson. I am from Cali in Georgia, and we drove 22 hours to be here at Gillette, and we are so excited for our kids to get to experience their second and Ashel Campery and to meet all these great people. Hola, yo soy Stephanie Hina. Yo soy Xiomara. Y yo soy Perla. Y somos del club Shalom Shalom. Venimos de Mono Carolina del Norte. Viajamos por casi cinco días. Salimos el miércoles en la noche y llegamos a noche. Y estamos felices de estar aquí porque... For Chitty Pets. Yeah, we're also meeting new people. And they must Hello, my name is Lasandra English Alves. I'm here with the Forest Lake Pathfinders from Apopka, Florida. 
We are so happy to be here because we believe in the promise and we have escaped a hurricane. We're so excited to be with the, be with you, all 350 of us. My name is Michaela, and we drove 36 hours to be here. We're from Temple, Florida. <laughs> Bethany Builders and Fatmas Eagle. And we're happy to be here to meet other Pathfinders, and we're just so happy to do so many activities. All right, I'm done. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> we look I'm looking forward to more shout outs uh, I am too. this week, this week. Listen, back home, if you are interested in just sharing a shout out to your Pathfinder, your club, your church that is here at uh, at the Believe the Province Pathfinder Campery, you are welcome to make a short video and you can send it to communication at southernunion.com. Communication at southernunion.com. You can email it there and we will be happy to play it, to share it with with those who uh, you send those messages to. Yeah, that's perfect. I hope I get some video from my parents in New Mexico. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're watching the show. All right. Well, yesterday we went around the Southern Union campgrounds and we went to ask our Pathfinders from all conferences just one question, and that is, what are you looking forward to the most this campery and why? <laughs> Uh, honestly, it's meeting the people. I like, I love interacting with everybody. You know, it's a, it's a good environment. It's so diverse with everybody here. So yeah, that's really what I like about this place. I'm looking forward to doing exploring and looking at some cool animals and like geckos and stuff because it's my favorite. I like to do it. Getting closer to God, bringing everybody together here at one and making me feel that I'm not alone, even though throughout the world it goes on and on that I'm gonna still have people that understand where I'm coming from and I can hope that all of us being together we feel God's love in between us throughout it all. Just to see people and see different cultures because I think it's cool to see diversity. Getting to meet new Pathfinders and getting to spend time with people around the world and uh, getting to just be here and travel here and just meet some new people and uh, yeah looking forward towards the shows because it's just like like the highlight of the whole uh, Camp Bree, personally. I really want to meet new people and like have more friends to be able like for maybe like a next Camp Bree, to be able to be uh, know people and like be able to socialize more with them. To ride horses and um, so that we can have fun here and help us to have safe travels on the way home. The tournament of uh, soccer. I'm trying to get, um, trying to make it to the final at least. At least win one game and not concede at least like two goals. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the honors because I've been reading through them and they look really fun, especially like the, like the, the basketball one, and, like the black football one. I'm really excited for those, yeah. This is my first ever campery and I'm excited to just be a part of it and spread God's word and spread God's love. Look at all these people here. We have one mission and goal, spread God's love and his kindness to all the people of the world. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, Roger, what do you say is the thing you're looking forward to the most? in this company. I, I'm, I'm just excited that young people get an opportunity to see the Bible come alive. That's mm. been the greatest thing about these camperies, the, the, the drama that happens each night, and you see it in so many different ways. The, the one I remember, The Courage to Stand, which is the story of Esther, and, and how they portrayed the story brought the, the book of Esther to life. And it did drive me, even in my old age, to go back and reread Esther. It is, it is an awesome experience. And to, so this year, I'm looking forward to seeing some nuances on the life of Moses. Yeah, what about you? Oh, well, for me, well, this is my first camp period, like I mentioned. Um, I think, like many of the kids said, just meeting new people. But I think even more so, I grew up in the Philippines. 
and so I'm hoping to see some familiar faces from back home because okay. I do hear there is a uh, representation from the Pacific uh, Southern Union Pacific Division here. So yes, yes, yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Listen, folks, we are just so happy to have brought you just a little snippet of what we will be doing here at the Pathfinder Camperie. And my co-host here, Paola, and I are just tickled pink. <laughs> uh, we're so excited to be the host here at the Southern Union Breakfast Club. And we hope you're going to tune in again at 7 p.m. That's Mountain Time, 8 p.m. Central Time, and 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Because we're going to have another day, another show. We're going to tell you about the day, some video highlights, and we're going to transition straight into the live stream of the main program. Yeah, so you can watch it right here with us. You don't need to uh, uh, try and find it anywhere else. We are just excited, as the young people are excited, to have you join us each morning and each evening uh, as, we, as we share a little bit about what's happening here at the Gillette Breakfast Club. That's correct. So listen, um, as we leave today, just remember, um, as the theme of the campery says, believe the promise, you, uh, actually how we said it here, there, we must remember to what? Believe, believe the, the promise. promise.